Hi guys, how are you doing today? So I really hope you like the idea of this video. I've been loving the Masquerade palette and I really wanted to showcase the different types of looks you can do using it. Since it is a pretty dramatic palette, I wanted to show that even um, like the most everyday simple person could get a really pretty look out of this. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the daytime simple look. And I'm starting off with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm putting that all over my lids just to prime and cancel out any redness or veins or imperfections that I have on my eyelids. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee on a Morphe M209 to set the paint pot and there's no like really light matte shade in this palette so that's why I pulled the Wet n Wild one. But then I'm taking the Zoeva 228 which is just a really nice big fluffy brush in the shade Burkina and I'm using that as a transition shade in my crease and I'm just really blending that and dispersing the color very softly. I also didn't go in with a ton of product just because this is a slightly darker brown. And then I'm also using a Isum S31 I believe and taking that shade onto my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Zoeva 231, which is a really nice petite crease brush and the shade Zulu. And I'm basically just packing that onto my outer V. I still wanted to give my eyes some definition for this look, even though it is super, super simple. So I'm just basically blending that a little bit. But then I go back in with this big fluffy brush and just blend literally everywhere. I didn't go in with any like specific shade for my eyelid, so I just blended just all over with it. And now I'm going in with the shade Giza on a BH Cosmetics 105 and that was my dog making the weirdest noise ever but I'm just packing that onto my inner corner and also underneath my brow bone I wasn't expecting to love this highlight shade as much as I do but it is seriously so gorgeous and perfect in every way but then I'm just taking my fluffy brush again and I always blend underneath my highlight that and then I went in with the elf waterproof eyeliner and I just did a very straight across line just for some definition nothing special I didn't add a wing or anything and then I'm going in with my ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade swerve and just use using that to darken my tight line and my water line and then I'm going in with the Jordana Let's Best Extreme I can never get this mascara name right Jordana Extreme Best Lash Mascara and I'm just coating my upper and lower lashes and making them black and thick and long so you know obviously what you do with mascara <laughs> And then I'm taking the NARS Laguna Bronzer on a BH Cosmetics number 9 brush. And I'm just using that to bronze up my face. I figured I would show you guys my cheeks and my lips to finish off the look along with my eyes. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. Sweet Retreat blush. It's one of their mineral blushes on a Morphe E4 and I'm using that as my blush for today. I love this shade. It's an oldie but a goodie. And then I'm taking the highlight shade from the palette Giza on an A23 and I use that to highlight my face. I really just wanted to try it out. I was kind of scared it would be too dark but it's honestly so so pretty and I think that the darker your skin tone is the prettier it would be. So it's very very versatile and I just love it. And then I'm taking the L'Oreal lipstick which is JLo's nude. Literally this is my favorite lipstick ever. That just basically completed that look. So now we're going to move on to the dramatic evening which I didn't wear for the evening because I'm crazy like that but I'm basically just starting off with the exact same way which is with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, priming my eyelids and canceling out any redness and then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee and using a Zoeva 325 to set that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going in with Burkina again 
and I'm just using that on the same Zoeva 228 and blending that into my crease as a transition shade. I feel like this is probably going to be my go-to transition shade in this palette. Some others you could definitely use if you like go in with a light hand, but this is just the one that I've been going to. And then I'm using some scotch tape just because I want a crisp line. And now I'm taking the shade Zobo on an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm packing that onto my eyelid. I really wanted to do like a matte like focus on kind of using the matte shadows here just because I think that a, there's a lot of tutorials showing the shimmer but it's definitely harder to make a good matte shadow than it is to make a good shimmer shadow I think in my opinion so I wanted to really test them out and so far I'm very impressed but then I'm taking the Zoeva 231 and I'm just using the lightest amount of Zobo on that brush to basically start blending out that line and bring it into my crease. I really wanted to put emphasis on this color and I'm just blending with a really light hand to get a soft look. And then I'm going back in with the 228 sorry, from Zoeva and I'm just blending out the edges a little bit and I love going back and forth in between my brushes just because I feel like that's the best way to blend so you will see me doing that right now. And then I went ahead and took the 228 and a ton of Burkina and just really packed that into my crease. Um, I just wanted to have more brown and more like depth into my crease, so I went in with that. And then I went in with the Lucy 205 and no product at all, and I just blended the edges. It's always really helpful to have a clean brush to blend out your edges with. And then I went back in with Zobo and I packed it on with the eyeshadow brush, but then I went in with my finger just because I wanted this color as bold as possible. And then I'm going in with the 231 to blend that out just a little bit more so that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going back in with the Luxie 205 again and just continuing to blend the edges. And now I'm using a brush from Coastal Scents. It, I think it came in like their 36 um, set or something like that. I'm not sure. I got it forever ago. But I'm just packing Giza again onto my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. Seriously, you guys, this highlight is so pretty. I just love it. And then I'm taking my fluffy clean brush and blending underneath that because, again, I don't like my highlight to just stand out. And now I'm using the Kiss Gel Eyeliner. I'm not sure the shade. I think that the only one that they have is the black one. But I'm basically just doing a pretty bold line and giving myself a wing. I think that when you do pink eyeshadow, it is so important to do a like really bold eyeliner. If I went in with the NYX um, glitter liner in the shade Crystal Black, and I just went over my my like regular eyeliner and made it glittery and I really liked the way it looked. I thought it was super pretty. It was super easy to add something different to the look. And then I just went with my hand and kind of waved at my face and helped it dry faster because if you do open your eyes, it will transfer if it's not all the way. And I'm using the shade Molly on a brush from the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, I think. But I really didn't like that brush, so I went in with the Urban Decay Electric, um, the smaller side, and that Shame Mally side, and I just packed that onto my lower lash line. And then I went in with the BH Cosmetics 132 brush and the shade Dahlia, and I just packed that onto the outer third of my lower lash line. I really just wanted to have a little pops of the blues and greens in here because they are such a beautiful... Um, color. So then I went in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve again and did my waterline and my tight line and used the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and did my lashes. These are from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're super, super cheap and super beautiful and I just did that off camera. As you can see, lashes make a, such an extreme um, difference for this look. But then I'm going in with the NYX blush in the shade Taupe and a Wet n Wild blush brush. And I'm just contouring using that. I haven't used this in forever, but it is such a great contour shade for fair skin. I highly recommend it. And then I'm going in with the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. I just have a little mini of this and I'm using it on the same brush because why not? 
and just putting that onto my cheeks very lightly. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Highlight, I believe it's called, Highlight 01 or something like that, on the Anastasia A23 brush. And then I'm going in with the Oh Snap Lippy Pencil and Lippy Stick from ColourPop. And I'm lining my lips and then I'm just filling them in. This is one of my favorite colors that ColourPop makes. And I just thought it would look really pretty with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed these two tutorials. Hopefully you got a little inspiration for the Masquerade palette. Don't forget to check out my other videos. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.